Good day to all. Welcome to another episode of SG Doctor Wellness. It's Coach Elvin here, and today we'll be diving into the world of grains and answering a question many have pondered. Oats versus rice. What's the difference? Before we begin, give us some OT goodness by smashing the subscribe and notification buttons now. When it comes to these two popular grains, you might think that they are just processed versions of the same thing, right? Well, not quite. In fact, oats and rice, despite both being part of the grass plant family, originate from different plants altogether. And that's just the beginning of the story. Next, we uncover the fascinating differences between these two grains, including their nutritional profiles. So let's start with uh, the key distinction. Oats cannot be refined but rice can. This means oats will always remain whole grain, while rice can be stripped of its germ and bran, leaving only the endosperm. But what does this mean for your health? Well, the taste and texture are noticeab noticeably different, but its nutrition content is what really sets them apart. Take brown rice, for example. It's a whole grain, unrefined and packed with minerals and vitamins and fiber. White rice, on the other hand, has been processed, losing much of its nutrients and fiber in the husk, germ and brown. Even though brown rice and white rice have the similar calorie counts, the key difference lies in the fiber. Brown rice boasts 1 to, two, uh, to 3 grams uh, of more fiber than white rice and contains essential minerals like manganese, selenium, magnesium, and folate. The benefits of whole grain brown rice are numerous. It's gut friendly, eats with uh, weight management, lowers cholesterol, and helps fight chronic illnesses. Now, before we jump into the nutritional phase off between brown rice and oats, let's clarify something first. Oats are the unprocessed versions of oatmeal. Oats are whole, untouched grains, while oatmeal is simply the processed versions of this grain. Un unlike the refining process for rice, oats retain their whole grain status. Oatmeal comes in various forms like steel-cut oats, rolled oats, quick cooking oats, and instant oats. Each offers a slightly different texture and cooking time. Now, let's compare brown rice uh, to oatmeal, since both of them are considered whole grains. First, the caloric content. One cup of cooked oatmeal, oatmeal has significantly fewer calories at 145 kilocalories compared to brown rice at 216 kilocalories mainly due to oatmeal's lower carbohydrate content. Next up, fiber. Both brown rice and oatmeal provide approximately 4 grams of fiber per cup, which is fantastic for weight management, digestive health, and overall immunity. When it comes to protein, both grains are actually winners, offering about 4 to 6 grams of protein per cup. Perfect for those looking to build muscle and maintain overall health. And let's not forget about the vitamins and minerals. Both brown rice and oatmeal provide essential B vitamins, iron, magnesium, phosphorus, manganese, and selenium, all crucial for a healthy body. So what's the verdict? Both brown rice and oatmeal are incredibly beneficial for your health. They are high in fiber, making them excellent choices for appetite control and weight management. But here's the kicker. If you're watching your calorie and carbohydrate intake, oats might be the better choice due to their lower calorie content. This makes oats an ideal option for those managing their weight or following a carbohydrate-restricted diet. For example, people with diabetes. Remember, 
the choice, the best choice ultimately depends on your specific health goals and dietary needs. So whether you're with team oatmeal or team brown rice, both grains offer a nutritious and delicious path to a healthier you. That's a wrap for today's video. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more insightful content. And as always, feel free to share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Thanks for joining us today and we will see you in the next episode. Stay safe and stay healthy.